The Clifton Strengths Finder measures the presence of talent in 34 general areas or themes. Your full 34 comprehensive report ranks these themes in order of intensity, giving you insight into how you think and act every day. But your report is just the beginning. Each person has a unique combination of talents that he or she develops and uses to different degrees. What sets you apart? The dominance of some of your talents over others, of course. While each person defines success differently, achieving success results from fully developing and applying our talents to build strengths. Some roles require several talents and strengths all working together to produce excellence. It isn't easy, but nothing worth doing ever is. Start at the top of your list of 34 themes. Resist the temptation to dwell on the themes at the bottom of your report. Your dominant themes at the top are packed with the most potential. These are the talents that give you power, the ones that separate you from the crowd. Stay focused on these dominant talents. Take time to read the full descriptions of your most dominant themes. Highlight words and phrases that resonate with you. When you catch yourself thinking, hey, that's me, take a minute to explore that description. Ask and answer questions like, what does this theme say about me? How does it complement my other dominant themes? Write down your top themes in order. Take this list with you to work. Look at it every day. Think about these themes as you use them and notice what results you get when you apply your talents every day. Like muscles, strengths can wither if you don't exercise them regularly. And like muscles, they get stronger and more useful when you exercise them. Don't obsess about your lesser themes. As you review them, determine if they actually get in the way of your success or if they keep others from succeeding. If they don't, then don't worry about them. You can't fix them anyway. But if one or more of these lesser themes limit you or others, use your dominant and supporting themes to compensate. For example, if empathy is a lesser theme for you, use other themes like individualization or analytical to better understand how someone might react to a given situation. Your power comes from fully using what you're best at, not trying to fix a lesser theme. You can also create support systems or complementary partnerships with people who have dominant talents you lack. For example, if you're not outgoing, invite someone with strong woo talents to attend social functions with you. Just remember, focus on your dominant talents above all others. Our greatest talents do more than make us unique individuals. They are our best opportunity for creating and sustaining success. The better you can apply your most dominant talents, the greater your potential to build strengths and the greater your potential to be your best at work, at home, and in your community.